Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm so excited. We have a very special guest with us today. It's Hillary D. Caesar, and she is here to talk about an amazing topic that I'm very excited to hear about. She's talking about relaunching yourself and relaunching your business and actually getting to the point where you could actually grow and reach success, especially a lot of people today after COVID. People, you know, are in a totally different spot that they were before COVID. And, you know, getting back, building that platform, becoming a success, finding yourself, all these things tie into each other. And Hillary's going to talk about all these things. And she's going to talk about how you can go from one point from step one to all going up the hill and actually reaching your success level and being happy with the ideal you. So Hillary, why don't you just take it away and tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do and all that great information you were telling me right before the show. Well, Stacy, thank you for having me. And especially with, you know, the significant relaunch that you're going through right now with your health and your, your body, because, you know, I often say that we are our CEO of ourselves. We are the entrepreneur of ourselves. And if there's a point of failure, that it will directly reflect areas in your life, business, uh, relationships, and most importantly, it can start to feel like you're stagnant. You're feeling like you're in a rut. It's like, am I ever going to get past this? Yeah. And I was going through that. You talk about, you know, <laughs> how did I get to this place? I got to this place because I was a, I was in the Silicon Valley. I was working at a high tech company, Oracle for almost 10 years. I then launched uh, into uh, helping CEOs and entrepreneurs scale their businesses. And along the way, I was very focused on business, on work, but my personal life was literally, I mean, if you think of a rocket ship, I was like crashing into the earth. I was going through a divorce. I had three little kiddos that I was trying to, you know, be that, that good mom, but I was having guilt when I was working, guilt when I wasn't working and with them. It was like, a, you know, the ping pong match with myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got melanoma. I had, we had massive things going on with our family, the business I had, um, I was, I actually launched yet another company and had raised almost $9 million for it. And my board member actually did a Ponzi scheme and took down the entire company. And so at that point, I'm like, God, what is it about life? And I felt like I couldn't break free yeah. of this of this funnel of like just going down and i'm like oh my god and you know you always hear things come in threes and i'm like okay i'm up to like 27 of these when are they gonna yes. stop right and i remember somebody saying hillary you're the relaunch queen and i'm like okay we need to bust through that right now because that's the last thing i want to be known for because yeah. i don't want to keep going through yet another relaunch yet another right. relaunch well, then one of the most impactful relaunches happened and it happened right before COVID. My mom, who we as women in our family, we live, my grandma, great grandmother into our hundreds. And wow. I fully expected my identity was like, hey, I'm not even halfway through my life. I'm not even in the mid zone right now because I'm going to live until I'm, you know, 105 like my grandma. Right. And then my mom called and said the, the worst words I've ever heard in my life. She said, Hillary, they found 13 lesions and she ended up having, it started with colon cancer and spread to liver, spread to the bones, and eventually took her 14 months later. Yeah. And she moved in with me and I took care of her. And I was trying to run a business. I was trying to be a good mom. My, my youngest daughter was a senior in high school. So I had the, I had the, oh my gosh, she's trying to enjoy her last year at home. Yeah. I wasn't living with my husband, my second husband, who I've been together with for 10 years because he had kids and he, we were trying to figure it all out, juggle the two houses. And here I've got mom who is sick as can be. Yeah. I've got my daughter who's trying to enjoy life and have the joie de vie of everything going on. And I felt like there's got to be more. What is it? What, what can I do right now? 
to start to get back on the path of me and still have the still have life because life is going to hit you with more relaunches and i had had multiple companies and i've always coached i have been coaching since you know probably 23 years ago it used to be called consulting i laugh about that because (laughs) but i've always no matter how many businesses i had i've never given it up because i'm so passionate about it and i saw it wasn't just me it wasn't just me feeling like they were in a rut feeling like they were stagnant feeling like they were pushing and pushing and nothing was happening and so i started to look at success stories and i started to look at when i was able to relaunch myself into a a transformation something positive and when i couldn't take a transition and i kind of felt like uh i could have done that better right I wasn't doing, and I ended up coming up with a relaunch process, whether you're trying to get back into it after COVID, whether you're a six figure and you're like, good, why can't I get to seven figures or whether you can't make a profit? Yeah. You're like, should I even be doing this? Is it time to close the doors? Right. These are all relaunches. And I have to say with as many as I've been through and as many clients as I've worked with, between six figure, seven figure, eight figure and beyond, I've realized that I can literally relaunch people anywhere, anytime. And I know it works after working with thousands of people. I know it works for me. And when you start to realize that we as women, especially, we were taught when we were younger by all of the media, by the commercials, by what we saw in magazines, that the struggle bus should always pull up. And that if life's too easy, it's like, what are we doing wrong? Like, why is this work? Like, I need to make it a little bit more of a yeah. struggle. Right. And that's right. what we do with our business. That's what we do with our life. And we, we can go back to that place of, wow, things aren't happening fast enough or wow i thought i'd be further along than i am right now why am i not successful with my business why is this not helping i got i'm paying money i'm spending money to build my company and it's not happening and so now where i am i started the relaunch co three years ago and it was really intended to help women that are in their mid zone that we call ourselves the sandwich generation. We've got parents Mm -hmm. that are getting older. We've got kids that, you know, many of us are empty nesters. Many of us are thinking about ads, knocking down the door and we're trying to figure it all out. Mm -hmm. And where I come in is that I have programs to help you get yourself back to the point where you can scale right? I I mentioned at the very beginning, you are the CEO of yourself. You have your own headquarters within you. I call it three HQ and that's head, heart, and highest self. And what do I mean by that? Because let me tell you, Stacey, it's, it's not what people think that, you know, Hey, I I just need to compartmentalize. And sometimes that's all we can do to get through the day. Mm -hmm. I'm on this podcast right now. I'm in pain. I, I have, you know, whatever went through your mind, you know, earlier, but there is this moment that when you're connected, you're connected to the heart. You're like, you know what you're doing. I mean, look at you. I gave you an out to say, Hey, would you rather do this a different day? And you're like, no, we're doing it. And that is your conviction that's your heart that's like no we're doing this i am moving (laughs) forward but the head the head can get into the thought processes around negativity the thought processes around you know well maybe i just postpone this or maybe i just you know i don't do this right now or that launch didn't work i just need to like i'm going to try something brand new and we try and we're searching, right? We search, we search, we search. And so 3HQ, your own headquarters, is your foundation for success. It's your foundation for growth and your foundation for happiness and connection. Imagine a business and you go to a headquarters of a business and it's got it's got finance and it's got sales and marketing and it's got all these different departments. And Mm -hmm. if there's a failure in one of the areas, one of the departments, the business isn't successful. Right. Anything happens, 
with your own internal 3HQ. Right. When out of alignment, and a lot of times, you know, highest self, which I say the head, heart, highest self, the highest self is really when you're operating at your best version of you. Energetically, you're, you're in your growth zone, all these great things. But for people, sometimes we, we can't see the forest through the trees. We're so right. sick where we are that we, we're overwhelmed. We're yeah. underwhelmed. For, far more people these days are feeling underwhelmed, feeling like they're stuck in a rut, feeling yeah. like they're stagnant. And so that's that's what I do. I help people. I help people grow. I help people energetically grow into the business that you know, right? You, that you deserve the business, yeah. that, the business that you're actually in to financially bring in revenue. That's awesome. Now there are so many people that just don't know where to begin. Like, what do you tell people? Because, you know, I find too, I, I see it all the time. You know, there are so many people out there that want this and they want that, but then they're not willing to either commit or they're not willing to want to have to pay for the help. But in order to, in, in, to actually to get the proper help or to get the strategy or to get everything they need, they need to invest you know, because you have to spend money to make money. So what do you tell people, you know, that are struggling, you know, they may be on a very tight budget and they may not have a lot of money to spend. You know, what do you say to those people? How do you, you know, do they start first doing certain, certain, you know, steps to get them to the point where they can profit and then they can invest? Like, you know, what's your advice? So I call them, and I was one of them, the I can do that syndrome. I can do that. I can do that. We all can do all these different things, but what are going to actually get you to the point of, of financial freedom, get you to the point where you're actually making money. You actually right. have profit margins. You're actually like paying yourself. Yes. For so many people, that's a novel idea. And after working with as many people, I often throw this out there. I say, what if? Today, I am going to have access to your financials. I'm going to get to see behind, you know, the the the, the Wizard of Oz behind yeah. the curtain. Right. What does that do to you? How does that make you feel right now? Are you like, no, I'd be so embarrassed? Well, can I tell you, most people are. Most people are not operating at the level that they would be comfortable sharing the information about right. them. And I'm talking like people that out there, influencers that have come to me and they're like, yeah, oh, everyone thinks I'm doing this, but in reality, I'm doing this. In yeah, reality, I, I hear that all the time. All the time. So your question is so important because when you start to look at how do you get started, it's the relaunch. It's today. It's relaunch now. It's making it happen now. Yeah. No more delaying. No more, you know, I, I'm sharing with you that I see your blind spot. Right. I know it's there. And I know it because of experience. I know it because I had it happen to me. Right. So what do you do? How do you say, all right, you know what? She's got me. She's got that. She understands that. And then we sit there and we're like, okay, stop the blame, stop the shame. Right. right. And accept that right now you have to relaunch. Accept the fact that it's time. Yes. No pushing it off. Because what if I told you in six months at the end of this year, right? We've got the second half of the year, things could be completely different for you. Right. What if Told you that you know what this this shame blame which is you operating at an energetic level which is terrible which means that's what's actually you're bringing in more of that right so this conversation i'm sorry to have taken you there but guess what on the same conversation i want to show you how simple it is to flip the switch yeah flip the switch i call it the relaunch flip and it allows you to take a higher level look at where you're going. Yeah. And I call it the tune in process. And a lot of times people say, Hillary, I understand 3HQ. I understand it. You've got a headquarters. It's you. You've got your head. I'm operating in my head, Hillary. 
hard. I'm just still trying to figure out like, is it that important that I have a why behind why I'm doing this, creating this? I, I don't know if I'm really impacting people. I don't know. I'm not trusting myself anymore. And then I, and then they say, you know, at highest self, I just want to be like, I just want to be okay with the world again. And I laugh right. because when I was there, and I'm, I remember going to a couple of the biggest gurus out there and listening to them, and they were kind of, kind of screaming from the stage, you know, love yourself, love your life, love, love, love. And I'm like, you know, I don't even think I like myself right now. How do yeah. I, how do I cross the chasm? How do I go from where I am, which is really self sabotage, which is really like, I'm not excited about who I am to loving myself. Right. Not to myself, stop trying to make that big leap. Stop trying to be evil Knievel and crash right. every single time. Instead, go from where I am, self-sabotage, not liking myself to liking myself. Once I like myself, then I can get to love. Then yeah. I can get to loving what I do, loving oh, 100%. around me, loving who I become. Yes. I think, you know, what we need to do is start out. And the way we do it is not tuning out, yeah. is not shutting the door, is not compartmentalizing because and, and if your business is a direct reflection of you and you're shutting doors, I call it mm -hmm. hell in the hallway. Mm -hmm. If you're closing the doors, then how do you think your business is going to do? Yes. It will, it will directly affect what's going on. So there's a tune in process and I would love, it's the easiest thing. I'm like, please keep everything simple because yeah. that's the way I learn. That's the way I have growth is stop trying to overcomplicate everything. So right. Casey, are you up for a little tune in process that will literally take less than two to three minutes? Oh, a hundred percent. Definitely. So it's a four step process. And what I'm doing is I'm allowing you to level up your energy. When I say shame and blame and fear, those are all very low vibrational energies. Emotions have energy attached to them. Right. So imagine when you're operating at the low, level and you go to create something for your business mm -hmm. will create something at that same level all right this is scientifically proven so how then throughout the day do you level self level yourself up so that you can energetically put things out there mm -hmm. that attract your audience that attract right prospects. And so what we do is tune in and the first step of tune in. And by the way, I'm going to take you through it a little slower, but I do it within less than 60 seconds. I do this 25 plus times a day when I'm coaching one on one, when I'm doing group coaching, I take everyone through this. This is like standard. I'm going to right. give you not everything here because we can't go into all of it, but I'm going to give you the bare bones. So the first step is to understand what is the biggest challenge you have going on for yourself? the intention behind the challenge. What, what are you trying to do? What would be a challenge that you're facing right now? You're asking me? I'm asking you, girl. I'm coaching you right now. All right. So one of the biggest challenge is that I am trying to go into a different business and relaunch myself. So it, you know, something that I always wanted to do. And I finally decided that it was time and you know you get to different points in your life where you realize okay i finished this part of my life and now i know it i'm ready for a change and you just know that it's time and so then you make the pivot but now you're starting from it's like a it's like an empty jar and now you have to start putting the rocks down and you have to surface the rocks before you could actually you start with the pebbles then you start with the bigger rocks then you could put the sand on and then you could decorate it at the top but when you're at that platform and you're start, you're just starting with the pebbles, it's very frustrating. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication. And it's it's hard because you're you want to make the right choices and you want to see productive activities. So you don't want to make the wrong choices. You want to be able to make the right choices so you see results. Oh, this is I can't tell you how common this is right now. <laughs> starting out they're pivoting they're relaunching and they're trying to figure it out and they feel disconnected right they feel right. disconnected because oh my gosh i'm doing this they the joy of running the business when you're first starting out 
you know, you got to really push yourself there. Yeah. And the growth, because you're, you're learning new things. You're going into a different space. You're figuring out your target audience. You're doing all of that. So when yeah. you think about what you're going through and you look at different business, that's your number one. That's your, your biggest challenge right now is you're different. Right. You're going into a different business. So you're right. going to have growth issues. You're going to have connection issues. You're going to have joy issues. Yes. Step two is when you change the channel. Because right now, those are all concerns. Those are all things that are operating at a lower level for you, Stacey. I need right. to change your channel. I need to have you tune in, elevate yourself. And it has to be instantaneously. I have to get you there quickly because if it takes too long, you won't do it. So here's how I do step two. I want you to think of a song that literally lights you up. This again is scientifically based song music arts can elevate your energy oh 100 percent, yeah the song that you absolutely love that just it just charges you up it ignites things within you right you asked me what songs i'm singing you a song again <laughs> I, I can't remember the title off the top of my head but there are a couple journey songs that like between their music and the and the voice of steve perry it just ignites me it gives me okay. unbelievable energy okay i want you to think of one of those mm -hmm. and do you have the chorus don't stop your... believing okay. do you have the chorus going right now because i yes. do i love that song <laughs> <laughs> what i want you to do is that again I do a lot of neuroscience, been studying it for over 10 years. I'm a psychology major, business, all these things that I focus in on. I want you to take that song. I want you to, you know, don't stop believing. I want you to turn it up, Stacey, in your mm -hmm. head. And I want you to move your body, okay? You're okay. hearing it. You're hearing it for at least 20 seconds. Now, sometimes yeah. people say, Hillary, should I put it on? Right. Yes. Yeah get up, dance, move. But right now, I just want you to hear it in your head because a lot of times you're not going to be able to turn it on right. in that sense of auditory, but you can hear it in your head. Yeah. So you're going to do that. I want you to move your body. Now we're going to go 20 seconds and I want you to go into step three. Mm -hmm. And step three is your mini movie of the mind. And what I want you to be thinking of is what would this new business at its like highest level that you're going for? I call it your scazy gold, your scary and crazy goal. Like, oh my God, is that even possible? Yeah. I want you to go there and I want you to charge it with an emotion. Okay. And then the second part of this is I want you right now to see a color. What color would you be in or what color would resonate with you when you are just, this is the best company you've ever had. You've never been bringing in so much. You've never had such impact. What color resonates with you? I think like a yellow or like a goldish kind of color would resonate. Awesome. I want you to tune back into your song. Don't stop believing. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to see that yellow and 10 exit, intensify it, move your body, picture it in your mind. And very quickly, you're going to open and close your eyes. When I say click, you're going to take an internal picture. Click, click, click. Now you have this internal picture that is charged with emotion. It's mm -hmm. got everything. It's got the light. And now step four is when you create a micro action. And it's one thing because success does not want delay. Right. So what could you do right now, as soon as we get off of this, mm -hmm. get one micro action closer to that mini movie in your mind? What could you do? Tune back into your song, don't stop believing. What could you do? So you're, you're talking about figure out a- What's one? Like one micro action. action. What? One micro action that you could take today to get you closer towards that mini movie in your mind where you're like, oh my God, this is the greatest company in the world. What would you say it is? What's that micro action? The freedom of speech to be able to empower others. Okay. So how are you going to empower others right now? to get closer to your dream business. What are you gonna to do today? 
today. I'm today. going to put this podcast on today. And okay. Then- <laughs> That's a, that would be a micro step. I am going to finish this podcast and I'm going to make sure I get this out there. Yes. And I want you every single time that you're thinking about the challenge of your business, this new business, I want you to tune in before you do anything to that song right. around this specific challenge. Mm-hmm. I want you to keep elevating yourself. You can do this hourly before every single meeting you do. You can right. do it before you're about to go do a post before you're about to do a story you can do it before you hit the i'm posting this i'm actually going to launch this podcast today right is going to help me with my new business my new venture everything and do you feel right now where you were before when we started and where you are now you all of a sudden with that with the four steps to tune in you pick your challenge or your intention around it. Right. You tune in and change the channel with your song, 20 seconds or more. You go ahead and you have that mini movie in the mind. You right. have that color. You take the picture because you're capturing it in your mind. And then you have the micro action. That's the process that you should be doing, as I said, 20, 25 times a day. I constantly, because we, we have to be, we can get into the afternoon slump, right? We can get into a call that's taking us down. We can get into a meeting that negotiations that didn't quite go. We don't want to carry that forward into whatever we're working on next. And this literally allows you to tune in for what's coming up and be successful. And this is where we start for growing your company and growing yourself. That's amazing. Oh my God, this is amazing. I, you know, those steps you just went over just invigorated me. I feel so energetic and you've given me a whole different visualization on how to go about actually moving up the hill towards success and you know scaling my business upward i never thought of this approach this is like this is amazing it literally gives you back your own personal power it is it's a very powerful you are now in charge of energy on demand and don't kid yourself that this is so important for scaling your business for being able to bring in leads and converting them and being able to make those sales and be right. able to grow your business. And so, you know, we, we didn't even touch in the head or the heart or the highest self, but imagine that this is just that, that pocket tool. It's right. your pocket coach. And, and then there's programs and I, I offer a six month program, a year program to really allow yourself to get that foundation to allow for people that want to scale to right. a high level of business. And there are gates along the way and things and problems that come up along the way that you have to be able. And why why work, as you said, with a coach? Because you want to get there faster. You don't want to make the same mistakes. You don't want to, at this point, being in our mid zone, and I love Brene Brown said, you know, the midlife is 35 until you're dead. We want to have success. Yeah. We're not doing this to just be like, oh God, it's a grind, another year, another, you know, someone asking like, are you still doing that? Like, how's it going? And you're like, oh, I'm gonna tell them, oh, it's great. Where inside it's not in alignment. And so if you're really interested in understanding where you are with 3HQ, with your own headquarters, with your own head, heart, higher self, in terms of of being a CEO and entrepreneur, you can go to therelaunch.com, therelaunch.com and we have a quiz, super easy. You take it, you'll get results back. You'll understand like, oh my gosh, this is where perhaps this is where you are getting stuck in your own head that could be holding you back. So definitely start there. That would be, you know, the place that I would do. And then from there we have, like I said, we've got these incredible, they're called the fired up entrepreneur. How perfect is that? Because you know what? I like that. You're not fired up. If you have like dullness in your belly, you don't have the butterflies around your business. It's time for a change. It's time to relaunch. Relaunch anywhere. But you, you, I got to tell you, it's tough to do it on your own. Tough to see your own blind spots. Yes, it's very tough to see your own blind spots. It's 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 hard to look out of the box and 
see yourself, you know, because, you know, and also I, I think, you know, it's sometimes you build a business, it's your baby. And what happens is, is that it's hard to let go sometimes, but then you have to think of it more in a business manner and say, okay, I've had this business for X amount of time. You know, I put this amount of energy, I put this amount of dollars in it. And where am I now? And sometimes you have to walk away from a business and, you know, and restart yourself, relaunch yourself. It's just not the right business for you. It's not going to get you to your goals. And you have to really focus, I think, what your goals are. Well, and here's the thing. A lot of times it's really tough to understand when you keep going, when you're that like, I'm almost there, when you're almost at that tipping point and when, you know what? it's 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 not happening and i right. think that's where i really know my team excels at really helping you get clarity yeah sometimes it's just a very small little tweak in the whole process that just opens up everything for you yes yeah but you got to you got to take that first relaunch step you got to be willing to be like you know what i want that exactly now tell everybody one more time before we go, what is your website again so they don't forget? Yep, so you can go to therelaunch.com and take the 3HQ quiz. We also are on Instagram. And a great way to get connected with me is it's the relaunch co, the relaunch co, and DM me. Say, you know, hey, this is where I am. What can you do to help me? Yeah. And open up the conversation, start Definitely. the conversation. And again, there, it doesn't matter what specific industry you're in. It's the process. It's right. the, it's the business in a box yeah. that we need to be really looking at is making sure that as you scale and you're looking at your numbers, that you're so proud of where you are. That's what I help people do. I get to the point where they're like, I want to talk about my business. I yeah. want, I want Hillary to yeah. see, I call them sexy spreadsheets. I know <laughs> to scale your business. And by the way, no excuse here that, oh, I'm not a finance person. Right. Got you. We have to embrace all areas of the business and understand that success is not something that could happen for you. It's not. I love it. It will happen for you. Yes. Because there are steps that you need to take. And 3HQ doesn't just give you that, that step of like, oh, one to five, or everyone would be doing it, right? Everyone right. would have exactly. It. It's now let's incorporate in your why, how right. you're going to impact people. Your remember that self-sabotage to right. love it. Let's do that. So you can get to that highest version of you where you have joy, you have connection, you have growth. You're like, dang, I like my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know what? I can't wait to have you back on the show so we could talk more about this. Hillary will be back soon and she's going to go more into detail about this. But thank you so much for being on the show and providing us with all this great information. I can't wait to have you back on the show. Thanks again, Stacey. It was great.